this is a Code Babes PHP version course. Now we're finally getting to the real shit. PHP is the most popular server-side programming language on the web. It's what makes CMS systems like WordPress and Drupal go. Facebook was originally written in it, so if you want to be the next badass programmer, it's not the worst place to start. In this course, we'll go over the basics. We'll assume you have some kind of server working so that you can run the examples. Unfortunately, you can no longer just use your browser to look at HTML. If you did that with PHP, nothing would happen because the server needs to process the code. We have some handy links below to get you started with that. All set? Good. You're going to need a basic understanding of HTML, a computer, access to a web server, a browser, and your brain. Your brain, a lot. So keep that blood flow headed in the right direction. PHP is a server-side language that allows you to create dynamic pages that interact with the databases and forms. So what does server-side mean? Well, when you go to a website, your computer is a client. It is requesting a web page from a server somewhere. Usually, this is just a server in a giant building. But some marketing MBA douche coined these server farms the cloud. If it's a PHP script, the server executes the code and spits some stuff out on the page. Let's start with the Hello World program. Go to your web directory. In our case, it's a sites directory. This is where the web server on our computer is watching. Anything within this folder will be interpreted by the web server when it gets opened. Let's create the file, hello world.php in our sites directory. Every PHP script needs to start with less than question mark than the letters PHP. This tells the server that there is code to execute. After that, put the word print. Follow that with some parentheses. Inside, we'll put some quotes and the words, hello world. Finish it off with a semicolon. When the web server parses this file, it will print out the line, hello world. And we're programming, bitches. Print is what's called a function. Functions perform a predefined action for you. You can also add HTML markup to the print statement. Let's add some h1s around hello world and create an HTML element, like so. Now look at the web page. You'll see that only the HTML appears. You'll never see the PHP because it is parsed on the server, behind the scenes. Awesome work. Let's move on and turn things up a notch.